I was diagnosed in the early 80s with HIV. It was a uh, very, really uh, sad and dark days in my life because I was losing my friends very quickly. My best friends, you know, my first lover, everything it was taken away from me. So in that moment in time, no, I, I didn't want to live. I started using back in 2005. I lost my job as a nurse. I have not worked since 2016. I resigned on my own volition because I needed that time to recover. When I moved here to San Francisco um, in 2011, that led to some behavior with substance use or what have you, and then leading me to me having a uh, positive diagnosis. The cancer diagnosis, um, Capri sarcoma came in October of 2018. Um, dealing with the both has definitely been a journey. El Grupo was born in early 80s. Uh, I took care of seven of my friends in my house with AIDS. So we kind of form like a support group. We call it El Grupo because El Grupo, the, of amigos, the, the group of friends. And we ended at 25 Banes, where the San Francisco Foundation was. I came to the AIDS Foundation in 2014 to be enrolled in Stonewall uh, because I wanted to um, stop my party lifestyle. I don't have any health benefits at the time. So Stonewall Project has really offered me that opportunity to manage my substance use without breaking my bank. That led to me being connected with, um, these, with different support groups and also one of the support groups that um, I'm very active in, which is Black Brothers Esteem. When the Board of Nursing revoked my license in October 2017, I was told that two years after, I could petition for reinstatement. The reinstatement would include attending Crystal Meth Anonymous groups, maintaining sobriety. When COVID hit, I was beginning to worry, you know, what am I going to do to sustain my recovery? to make sure that I won't slip. I lost uh, my two only brothers in Mexico through COVID. COVID scared me like it scared me HIV in the 80s. Totally, completely. I live with my husband, Richard, and my best friend, Billy. The three of us, we have uh, health issues. And you know, facing another pandemic, of course I have so many doubts in my mind. What about if I got it? What about if they get it? I'm a patient here at Laguna Honda Hospital while I'm currently in chemotherapy treatments. Then I found out that I tested positive for COVID-19. Instantly, I was put into a 28-day isolation. Um, during that time, there was, you know, some dark moments. Oh my gosh, I have cancer, I have HIV. What is that going to do? Am I gonna to have to go to a ventilator? Oh my God, am I gonna get all these symptoms or what have you? Um, very, very lonely, lonely, lonely moments. We start searching, you know, uh, how we could, the three of us, being vaccinated some way, somehow, through our doctors, through the city, and no answer. But once again, the foundation came through, and I receive a call, yuppie, you know, I said, I can't believe it. They said, are you interested to get in vaccination for your husband and, and for Billy? I thought, I said, yes, we want it. What helped me cope through those times was being connected with our peer groups, with Black Brothers Team. It meant the world to me. There's a certain select few that would call me throughout the day or send me text messages just to let me know that, hey, things are going to be okay. My medical case manager from the um, AIDS Foundation, she communicated with my care team here at Laguna Honda to ensure that I received the support that I needed. San Francisco AIDS Foundation, we do weekly counseling, which is very, very pertinent to my mental health. I talk about my challenges while working on my reinstatement. Black Brothers Team was a lifeline for me. Without the support of my fellow brothers, 
I don't think I could have dealt with COVID as well as I think I did. If I have not gotten the services from Stonewall, it would have been impossible for me to convince the Board of Nursing that I am serious of getting reinstated. I could never have done this on my own. The best thing that the Foundation could give us is the hope that we can survive COVID. And that's given life, given energy for us to keep us going. And that's what I'm grateful.